Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. Okay, we're going to do another suggestion for you. Uh, this one was from Kale79. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the band is Queen, and we're going to do a song that, surprisingly, we never heard. Yeah. Action This Day. We know a lot of Queen songs, so to find one that we didn't know is fantastic, because we did want to check out more Queen, yeah. of course. Now, I mean, we probably don't know their full album. Yeah, maybe I mean, not. We know all their hits, because we like to have their greatest hits album. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's probably mostly all of what's on that uh action this day we've never heard and i don't know when it came out so yeah i know i should have looked it up right i know i know i know but we're going to get into it this one is uh from a live performance 1982 at, yeah in 82 uh at milton Keynes. yeah so we're gonna take a listen we took a quick listen just to see it did seem to sound okay yeah so and it sounded like fun too, so we're gonna get into it now. This is Queen with Action This Day. Sure. is incredible of course oh yeah oh my goodness his and en like freddie's energy has always been right over the top like, yeah yeah just <clears throat> unbelievable how energetic he was always yeah for a second i wondered how he was not singing notes with there were there were words coming out yeah and i realized it's roger in the background yeah scene. i caught that too i yeah. was like wh who was that and then i was like oh that's not him it's roger <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah, Roger's a fantastic singer, and and he can play while playing the drum. He can play the drums while singing, so that's well. Really you great. know, in order to play with Freddie, you had to be a multi-talented person. This is true because he was very much a perfectionist with music. Hmm. I you don't. Know? I don't imagine that's how they did it on the album. It was probably just Freddie and Freddie and stuff. They would have crossed over the uh, the parts. Yeah, probably. Because but, they did it all the time. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Freddie, a lot of Freddie's, a lot of Queen songs are just that, where Freddie sings a note and they cross over the note and he's singing the next note. And that's how they seem to do the measures once in a while. So I think in order to do that live, they would have had to have Roger or somebody else Well, yeah, they have to have somebody it. do that part. Exactly. Yeah. 
So it was pretty good, though, that way. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this one. Oh, this is a great song. Yeah. Uh, we're about to get the guitar solo, so. So let's go. Right. <laughs> incredible yeah sorry it wasn't a guitar solo it was a synth solo yeah <laughs> i don't know who plays the synth for them in the live shows but uh yeah they i remember he, reading that they often bring somebody who can play the synth in the background or some other instrument so that they can kind of change that up whenever they need to yeah the bass line was incredible though it kept me going every the whole way through i loved it yeah yeah, yeah. He, he tends to. Do that. John Deacon's a hell of a bass player, so he really kind of feeds the song really well. Yeah, I loved this song. It just had so much energy, as most of their stuff does. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Really enjoyed this. Is I, I. I mean, I'm. I've been a Queen fan for a very long time. So I was a Queen fan before I could understand half of what they do. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Like I just always loved them from the minute I heard them. Great band. Yeah. One of the best for sure. Of course, we heard songs like We Will Rock You and We Are the Champions yeah. way early when we were quite young. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the first song I heard was actually Bohemian Rhapsody. and just. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. For me, like I was, I think I was five years old and I heard that. And it just blew my mind. All of their stuff <clears throat> blows my mind. It's just incredible. And back then I didn't really understand what I was hearing. Yeah. But uh, as I got older, I really started to you know, understand that this was a fantastic song. And it was just something I had to get used to hearing. And, and when I was old enough to you know, break it down, I was, I was really completely blown away. Yeah, you're just like, oh, my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I always knew, even as a kid, that there was something special about this band. Oh, yeah. I could not stop listening to them. Like, any time they were on, I had to make sure I was listening. Just stop whatever you're doing, and there it is. Yeah. Because Queen is amazing. So, of mm. course, we loved this suggestion. It was very much appreciated. Very much. Don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's only $3 a month, and we're adding things over there all the time. We've got documentaries, little mini concerts, 
album covers, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, album reactions. Album reactions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should do a Queen one. I think we should sometime soon. Yeah, because we yeah. know, like I said, we uh, I know the greatest hits. I have the greatest hits because I used to DJ. Yeah. And, you know, it's fantastic stuff, of course. It's the greatest hits. It's, yeah. You know, everything they would play at the concert today. I mean, if they were... But there's probably existence. stuff we don't know that's on other albums and stuff. Who mm -hmm. knows? But this was fantastic, of course. Absolutely. Don't forget to also like and subscribe to our channel, share with your family and friends, click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video, and don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.